you know, let's talk, Anthony, a little more about <clears throat> the kind of informed decisions you're making on the pricing side. As you mentioned that, of course, dynamic pricing is something which Jazeera will adopt to maybe in the near future. But currently, in terms of looking at, you know, your, your forecast, looking at how you match your uh, year over years, month over months, to accurately predict uh, demand for Jazeera, how does that process look like for you right now? So uh, it's, uh, there are two ways of doing it. I mean, one is your market intelligence, what we get from uh, the feedback from the market. Like, of course, uh, I mean, uh, every airline has a historic data. I mean, if the airline is uh, yep. started to operating for at least say 10 years, you have good data with you and you know when is your peak and when is your off peak. But you might be wrong at times because uh, you never know. Then when, when you compare the data historically, there were not much competition in that particular route, for example. And currently you have some new entrant who has just joined the airline. Uh, so just joined the route. By default, uh, there will be dilution of passengers from you. I mean, the market share might just slip. So what we do is we study the market and we see how, in case we know, for example, there is a new route which has just come. For example, if I give an example, uh, Wiz have started Abu Dhabi Kuwait. Yeah. Okay. They, they are really, their prices are way too low compared to our pricing. Now, is it a threat? The question is, yes, it is. How do we react? At the moment, yes, we watch them because that pricing, what they are offering, it's difficult. We will not match it. But if it starts hurting us, then we need to react. So the, the another option is, Okay, fine. If you are flying, if, if Vizier is entered into the new market, we change the OND. I mean, instead of carrying a passenger from, say, Kuwait to Dubai or something, we'll try and uh, look into a different OND. For example, I might fly from a uh, different part of the world. For example, I might uh, create a new OND, change my timing so that, you know, I, if I see a traffic flow between the two ONDs, it's very high yeah. and there is less competition. I will change that so that I will maintain my load factor as well as I'll maintain my yield. Because at any given point, I just cannot sit back and relax and say, okay, there's a new airline. I can't do much. I cannot, I will not do anything, but that's not going to work out. So I, I need to, my job is to figure out a way how we can sustain in the market and then, you know, keep the load factor healthy in the route. So that's very important. I mean, maintaining the healthy load factor at a break-even price is really important.